When you think about it this way, A is distinguishable from E on a very short string. On what string is A distinguishable from E? On the empty string. If you don't see any string, then here you accept, and here you, here you accept, and here you don't accept. So that's why the final and non-final states are distinguishable one another. They're distinguishable because of the short empty string. If you read an empty string here, you don't accept. If you read an empty string here, you do accept. So they can't be the same place. All we got to do is keep bumping this up. We start with empty strings to distinguish states. Then we go to single symbol strings that distinguish states. Then we go to two symbol strings that distinguish states. Then three symbols. Then four symbols. It turns out that if you're going to distinguish two states, in this machine with six states, if you can distinguish two states with a string, you can find a string that has six symbols or less to distinguish it. Because after that, you'll get a loop. And there, you can always find a shorter string to distinguish it. So we actually you don't have to go forever looking for these strings to distinguish states. We just have to go up to strings of length 6. So that's a mechanical, brute force, horrible procedure. And there's a lot of ways to do it. And I want to talk about how we're going to do it in as efficient way as, as we can. OK, questions about this? You have your big map and you eliminate two, you could actually be, could be, they could be different places in the K and still functionally the same. Yes, yes, it's possible in a cave to actually have two different places that happen to really do the same things. But it's also possible that they're the same place and you never noticed. That's, right. That's the key. The key is that in a cave, it, and you could build two rooms in a cave that, that have the same functionality as far as the paths go. But the reason I gave you that analogy at the beginning was because I wanted you to imagine that you didn't know what the cave looked like. And this was your map of the cave. And it's completely possible that your map of the cave is misguided, that you actually listed the same room two or three times. In fact, these two states, you know, two states with water and, and food in them, maybe this is the same room. Maybe when you went out the door for one, you actually went back into the same room and you never noticed. In fact, that very well might be the case. So uh, that idea of, of making a map and, and looking for the underlying structure, I think, is, is a good one to keep in mind. But if it doesn't help, then forget it. I mean, just think about finding state machines. Why is it six, um, like six instead of five? Because in five, we've gotten every state. Oh, uh, 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 it, it might be. It, it, you're saying, why do we have to go all the way up to six? Yeah. It's possible you'll get a string. It's possible that maybe you only need five to distinguish. Um, I have to think about that. I'm not sure, Peter. Um, but there was a limit as to how far you'd have to go. OK. So here's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to do this in a little more of, a, of an algorithmic way. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to describe what we have to look at in this picture to see whether one state is distinguishable from another. Mm -hmm. And the base case, or the beginning step, is that all the non-final states are distinguishable from the final states. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a different picture on this side of the board that represents the dependencies or the, or the uh, distinguishing states here. There's going to be a lot of these. There's going to be, maybe there's going to be too many, so I might how many are there going to be? Six times five. It'll be like 30 boxes. It'll be too big. I'll just make a simpler picture. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, E. This is supposed to represent a combination of every state with every other state. And we're going to say whether they're distinguished one from another. Because uh, you'll see in a second. You'll, you'll probably figure it out. It doesn't matter. I don't. Right. I just need to consider all 30 combinations of these pairs of states. It's six choose two. So I don't want to consider anything. I mean, A and B is the same as B and A. I just list them in an order so that I get every single pair once. So there's only 15. 
No, there's, oh, is there? Oh, yeah, 6 choose 2 is 15. Yeah, thanks. Right. Right, there's only 15. All right, so I'm going to make x's in the, in the squares that the states are distinguishable one from another. So where do I make x's? A is distinguishable from what? From B and from E. B is distinguishable from... I'm putting x's in all the squares that represent pairs of states that are distinguishable one from another. So all the final states and non-final states are distinguishable from one another. And I'm putting x's in those squares. I guess you're just going about it differently. Okay, well, tell me where the rest of the x's are. Good. There's one here, right? And one here and one here. Okay. All those x's represent the combinations of final states and non-final states, states that we know are distinguished one from another. What we'd like to do is just fill this chart in. If we can fill this chart in and decide which states are really distinguished one from another, then we can collapse the states that are indistinguishable into one. That's the idea. So if it turns out that B and E are the same, we will later on turn these into one big state called BE. And they'll just have one circle. If it turns out that A and C are the same, we'll collapse A and C together. Is the stock state always different from every other state? No. No. It's a good question. And let's hold off on why for a minute. But it, you'll see. OK, well, let's go through. Let, let's do something very naive. Let's just take these blank squares that we don't know whether they're distinguished one from another and try to determine it. A and F. How would you decide whether A and F are distinguished from one another? Well, the base case doesn't work here. They're, they're both non-final states, so they either are distinguished from one another or they're not. We don't know. So let's try to refine our information here by adding in a single string, that start, a single symbol that starts in A and F simultaneously and see where we end up. Let's look at the 0 coming out of A and F. Where do you end up? B and E, respectively. And let's look. Are B and E distinguishable? Where's B, E in our chart? Not distinguishable yet. Now, if B and E were distinguishable, then what would you have known about, about A and F? That they're also distinguishable. Okay, If A and F each have a 0 that go to distinguishable states, then A and F are distinguishable too, because you just tack that zero on whatever string distinguishes these two that you ended up in. Unfortunately, they don't go to distinguishable states, they go to BE. But so you can get to F from a terminal state, whereas you can't get to A from a terminal state, is that enough to distinguish them? B goes to F, <coughs> and B is a terminal state. That's not enough to distinguish them, right. That, that would not imply that there's a string starting in A and F that would give you different results. It's a good question. So even if they're both final states, if, they, if they've been shown to be distinguishable somehow, then the things that point to them are distinguishable. Yes, yeah, sure. Even though they both, if really all we care about is acceptability, then they're similar in that they would both accept that string. If those final states are distinguishable from one another, then... But if the final states are distinguishable from one another, that means that starting here, you can come up with a string, and using the same string from here, this one follows that string and gets accepted, and this one follows that string and gets unaccepted. So it's very important, even though they both go to final states, if this one goes to this final state and continues with that particular string, and this one goes to this final state and continues with that same particular string, the resulting string would not agree. So you wouldn't want to merge those two, even though they're both final. Right? So again, it, it's not where you end up, it's where you go from there. Um, that's another good question. All right, well, let's look at the other symbol. What about 1? On a, a on a 1, you go to 